Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple paracord bracelet. Something easy. Uh, if you don't, if you want two color, what you need to do is pick out your two colors and you melt them together. Uh, but if you need longer paracord and want a solid strand, so you have a piece like this. It'll give you about eight to 10 foot of paracord. Then just do a solid color, no issues. But if you want two toned, two five to four foot pieces, uh, just fuse them together. Uh, so what I got here is a five eighths inch buckle. And what I'm gonna do is do a simple cow hitch on one end. And to do that, that's pretty simple. Self-explanatory, most of you guys know what a cow hitch is. run them through over the top so this is the bottom of the buckle this is the top I like to run them through and then pull them all the way through get it all the way to the end make sure all the twists are out of it and get it nice and singed then the other part of the buckle I follow my hands down to keep so they don't twist. And what I like to do is run them back through the top. And a simple trick to make this easier is flatten the ends out so it's easier to uh, get them through here. Got some twist in it work that out you might have to pull them back through and to get the twist and out. this is the start to your bracelets now you need to measure it out I have about a seven to an eight inch wrist so take my ruler I'm gonna do about a seven and a half seven and three quarter once I get that now I flip it over and I'm going to start the braid and to do that you're gonna do what they call is a Solomon but I oh, do I got them on twist. twisted straight let me remeasure and then I flip to the bottom of the buckle and this is where I'm going to start doing the braid. So you separate left and right sides and this is real simple you'll learn real quick how to do it. It will all you're really doing is actually let me flip it back over I had it the wrong way So up through the top, all I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this over like this. Blue is going to be my left side. Then I'm going to take the black on the right side, run it over the top of the blue, down on the back side, and bring it up through this loop on the left side. When I do that it should all look like this. And this is what they call a Solomon I believe. So I'm going to singe it up get it nice and snug and you got a loop on this side. So now we're going to start the opposite side and start on the right side. Same concept. You're going to bring it over So you're bringing it over, bringing the black down behind and up through the loop you created. And then all you have to do is singe it down. So 
and if you ever forget what side you started on so we did left right we're going back to the left the loop right here is the side you're going to start your next loop with so I go over bring the black over the top of the blue come in behind up through the top and then I start pulling it nice and snug and get it down you can see how we're starting to develop the pattern you notice that loops on this side now so we're going to start this side bring it over black down through here up through the top and then we singe it tight and then we're going to keep doing this all the way down to the end so I'll probably time, time lapse this so it makes it a little bit quicker now that I'm coming to the end of this I'm going to continue the braid all the way to the end so looks like I got maybe one maybe two more nope just, just one more that's it then I'm going to snug it pretty good then you get your scissors out and then all you have to do is snip that and then grab a little torch or a lighter melt till it bubbles take a little flat piece of metal and flatten it out and same on the other side let that focus a little bit now you want the ones towards the wrist to be really smooth And there you have it. Simple, quick, and easy paracord bracelet. Hey everyone, my name's Chris. And for the ones that don't know me, I'm a good buddy of Mason's. I've known Mason for roughly 10 plus years. She, we go all the way back to high school. And uh, I'm going to be on the channel a little bit. I'm, I'm the new guy. Uh, I'm going to help him run some of the back end of the stuff and take care of some of the technical things like that. Uh, hopefully go along with him on his adventures and we get some great footage and content for you guys to enjoy. Uh, I plan on doing some cooking videos, more paracord videos and different little stuff that I'm familiar with. My survival skills, I can handle my, my own. I'm no Mason when it comes to knowing all the odds and ends uh, he's far more advanced than I am but I can do my own uh, I'm a truck driver uh, got three kids fiance all that at home and uh, I'm looking forward to this we got a lot coming up we're planning the, we got a camping trip coming up here in the next month uh, hopefully we'll have a lot of good footage for you guys and content to put out uh, going to be a lot more active on uh, social media so make sure to follow us on instagram link will be in the description below as well as discord we just launched that a couple days ago uh, that way you can guys can get in touch with us on a personal basis we can get in there we can chat we can have voice conversations all that stuff have a good time come up with new ideas things that you guys want to see maybe merch other things uh, and to let you know uh I'd like to give a big shout out to Mason for 
uh, trusting me with this and giving me the opportunity to help them out. Uh, hope you like some of the videos that we've dropped recently. Uh, more to come. It's going to be a slow process getting ramped up, but hopefully by the time summer gets here, we're going to be full swing, all running to the walls. So we got a lot, a lot coming. So stay tuned, and uh, I look forward to getting to meet or getting to know all y'all. Not necessarily meeting. I can meet you guys on Discord. I'm in there. So my name's Chris. So shout out on there. Um, but I look forward to getting to know you guys and being a part of this. And I like what it, what where Mason's going with it. So stay tuned, guys. There's some big things coming. Until next time, take care and into the wild. McCartney Survival 2020.